Um, you know, I'm figuring it out. You know, it's only been five games, and that's what we have a long season for. So, once you know, we all find that balance. Um, you know, our team will be we will be way better. Um, but it's still early. We're just trying to, uh, as we learn, we're trying to you know rack up as many wins as we can. So, it's a great feeling when you can do both. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, James, you said you've been focused on playmaking, and that's been clear so far. But could you just sense uh, the other two guys, uh, Kevin and Kai, struggling tonight? And did that kind of uh, prompt you to take over the way you did tonight in the fourth? Yeah, I just wanted to be a little bit more aggressive. You know, obviously, you know, Kevin and Kai are really, you know, you know, really, really good scorers. Um, you know, easy shots that, we, that they missed tonight that they normally make. Um, so it was fourth quarter, you know, the game was getting close and, and we kept going back and forth. We, we, were, we had plenty of opportunities to take the lead, um, you know, to a higher number and they just kept climbing back. So we wanted to, you know, finish the fourth quarter off the right way. And I think we did that for, uh, defensively. We had 14 points and offensively just wanted to be aggressive with my shot. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, James, it looks like you have a, a good level of communication out there with Reggie Perry. Just curious what you make of this game and how you're trying to kind of like, obviously he's a rookie, drafted late in the second round. He's kind of thrown into the fire. How do you, how are you kind of trying to help him along? That's the perfect <laughs> phrase, thrown into the fire. <laughs> he, uh, but, I mean, he's learning. He listens, he learns, uh, he works his butt off, and that's all you can ask for a young guy. Um, so I just try to help him be in positions to be successful, whether it's, uh, you know, screening angles, or you know um, areas around the basket to be when I'm when when, when you know, our guards drive um, defensively just a little bit of everything you know I don't want to overwhelm him but I want to just help him out a little bit so uh, at the end of the day he still can be himself and go play freely but um, you know positioning wise can be be more uh, be more active. Alex Schiffer with the Athletic. Hey, James, you, you touched on this a little bit, but you mentioned the offensive struggles. Was that mainly with their zone, you think, that gave you guys most struggles? Or was it other stuff that, that led to some of that? Zone. Zone. I mean, I mean, we just had a – there's, there's going to be nights where we don't all, you know, shoot the, the, ball, the ball well. Um, there's going to be very minimum nights where all of us don't shoot the ball well. Um, you know, but that zone, you know, and Cleveland did it. You know, we see Miami do it. Uh, because you know teams are going to try to slow us down as much as as much as they can, um, you know, try to throw different looks at us. So once we get adjusted and we see the zone more often, we see different uh, different defensive schemes more often, then we'll know how to counter them and uh, uh, be more efficient offensively. Bruce Beck with NBC New York. James, you made it clear to us from day one that you are here to win. That's that's the goal. That's the number one priority. Are you enjoying the challenge of trying to figure out what you need to do to help this team win the most? Yes, that's the best part of it. You know, that's the best part of it is to, you know, I've been in a, I was in a role for eight years, you know, you know, controlling the ball, dominating the ball. Um, now it's a d different experience for me, but it's, it's still great. It's still basketball at the end of the day, and I'm, you know, I'm lucky to be able to do more than just one thing on the basketball court. So, um, you know, it's fun. You know, it's a, like I said before, it's a game within the game. You know, you got to pick and choose when to be aggressive, when to get your shooters going, when, you know, to let Katie and Kyrie get going. Um, you know, and once we get a rhythm and that flow and we kind of start to feel, you know, each other out more, um, you know, it'll be a lot easier for us. And, and our team will have a lot more, um, you know, flow in th throughout the course of the game. Right now, we're, we're trying to find it and we show really good glimpses of it, but it'll be more consistent.